a huge bear trap has been set while everyone is out there panicking, wondering whether or not they're going to lose everything in crypto. This chart here tells us a very clear pattern of why this right now is probably one of the last chances and best opportunities you're going to see to be able to get into your favorite alts at the very best prices. In this video, I'm going to break down exactly what is going on and my prediction for the coming few days because I think it's very different from what everyone else is anticipating. Not only that, I'm going to talk about the key crypto coins that I'm looking at and set up some buy zones for all of them. So hit the like button. This is going to be a big one. Now, guys, I know the pain. For the last few months, we've been waking up every morning, looking at our portfolio, being like, whoa, I'm like 20% richer than I was yesterday. And every day things are going well. So what's the effect of that? Well, we get this confirmation bias. We expect to see good news and positivity every day and then suddenly something bad happens and everyone absolutely bricks it. What's happened? Well, this story's just gone live, Bloomberg and everywhere else. Israel braces for an unprecedented direct Iran attack, being that Israel's a close ally of the US and, you know, we can all understand the scale of this. Now, the macro behind this is when it comes to crypto, a riskier asset during times of war and unrest, you tend to see the riskier assets fall as money flows towards stable assets like bonds and the US dollar and other things like that. But when it comes to crypto, if you've been in this game long enough, you'll realize that the price action kind of takes into account things that happen in the news if and when it suits the market makers who are controlling the price. Therefore, while this does have clearly a very bad knock-on effect when it looks at crypto, really all you're seeing is the market makers move the price in reaction to the news to create the fear sentiment across the markets. Because most of the people trading in crypto don't really understand why this particular piece of macro news would have any effect on crypto. Therefore, all the news is just a smokescreen for crypto. Obviously, this news is important. It affects a lot of people out there. But when it comes to crypto, I still take things with a pinch of salt. So where do I need to go? Well, we go across to coinglass.com and we go to liquidation and go to liquidation heat map. Now, what I'm going to do is select three months. Now, all we need to understand is this. When it comes to crypto and the market makers who are moving the market, they're simply moving the market between areas of liquidity. Liquidity represents money in the market or money to be made, which is basically an open interest. Now, I know this might lose a few of you, but stick with me. Let's say you have $1,000 and you think that Bitcoin's going to go down. You're going to short the Bitcoin price, okay? And you might do it with leverage because maybe $1,000 isn't going to do much. So you maybe use 10x leverage, which means if the price goes down 10% and you're on a short position, you're going to double your money. But ultimately, if the price goes against you, your whole position will get liquidated. Your short or sell order will get flipped into a buy order when that stop loss is hit. Bearing in mind that most people are looking at markets and trading in similar ways, all their stop losses for buy orders and sell orders sit in the same place. Which means that market makers like to move between zones where they hit stop losses in order to create liquidity in the markets and ultimately make more money. Therefore, the news gives them the perfect opportunity to be able to move things around so that you don't sense that things are heavily manipulated, even though they are. And as you look into this heat map, you can see that the yellow area is the hottest part of the map, which shows where big liquidity pockets lie. Here you can see down here at around 50K is a big area of liquidity. So that's probably where we would say that our worst case scenario happens. But I personally don't think we're going to get there. Instead, what I see is a big kind of area sat up here at around $71,700, where you can see liquidity lies. This is very important. Because if we come back across to the Bitcoin chart, while well, many people are looking today and being like, oh my God, my crypto is falling. Like, look at this. You know, it looks really bad because they're all looking at 15 minute charts and no one's got any trading experience at all. Simply, guys, click on a daily chart, go to right click and click reset chart. And you'll see that this little dip is just a blip in the bigger picture of things. So while it feels like it might have hit you very hard, actually, it hasn't. And only if you're really overexposed right now and you have been using, you know, this month's rent or whatever to bet on crypto, are you probably going to be feeling a lot of pain. Because if you've been in this game for long enough, you'll know that these dips are necessary and, you know, happen quite regularly during the bull markets. And this is a chance for you to be buying actively rather than selling. But unfortunately, no one does this because everyone is out there 
burying their heads in the sand, absolutely panicking like mad. They don't want to look at it. When you can see things from a logical perspective and take away the emotion, you have a chance to capitalize and actually do something useful. Right now, we're seeing Bitcoin creating a very bullish ascending triangle. This, to many, will look like a triple top, and this will cause a lot of fear. And, you know, we could, of course, get a dip like this. If we get a dip like this, I still anticipate that a very quick dip takes place to around 50k. But you can see the support being found here. This, for me, is a bullish pattern. And I could be wrong. I could be wrong. And everyone out there has their own opinion. But what gives me the kind of courage and the conviction of what's going on here is because I've read the comments in my groups. I've seen the comments on Twitter of people being like, oh my god, I'm losing everything. Like, I'm panicking, I'm scared, I don't know what to do. That's the time at which you want to be more bullish, you want to be excited. So what happens in this scenario is that if Bitcoin really manages to find support here and bounce, it's going to hit that area, that yellow area on the map. Remember the liquidation zones around $71,500. If it gets up to there, all of those sell orders get flipped and turned into buy orders. And this is what a bear trap looks like. Look at it. It's happened every time. One there. Okay. They come down. It happened again down here. Okay. It's happened multiple times throughout this bull market. We suddenly have a big dip towards the downside. And then suddenly the next day it's absolutely ramps towards the upside. Okay. And the problem with this is that when you're feeling most scared and most panicked is when usually you make the worst decision and at that period of time is when the opposite tends to come true. Now, to be honest, there's only one measure that you can pay attention to in crypto that's going to give you a clearer idea of what's happening than anything else. And unfortunately for you guys, it's not on a chart. What you must pay attention to and is the sentiment in the market. I have a free Telegram group, just link down below in the description. If you jump into that free Telegram group, there's a lot of people posting some useful and interesting information. People post different questions about other things. And there's also access to pre-sales, which I'm going to talk about a little bit more later on. But most importantly, you can get your fingers on the pulse of what the sentiment in the market is. So when everyone gets overheated in a group like that, you need to sell it. And when everyone's panicking, you need to buy it. Do the opposite of what you feel like doing every time. Don't get me wrong. This still scares me. It still scares the shit out of me. Because yesterday I was way richer than I am right now. Okay, and it's true for everyone. Go and look at like Alex Becker's just said that he's lost like eight figures in like 24 hours. Whether that's true or not, I'm not sure. But anyway, let's refer to this from L Crypto Prof. Bearing in mind that the altcoins are taking a bigger hit right now than Bitcoin. Bearing in mind as well, when Bitcoin is taking a hit, the altcoins take a bigger hit. This is on the left, the all time highs from Bitcoin. On the right, you can see all time highs from altcoins still lagging around the middle. You can see that in the period of time, when all-time highs on Bitcoin were in the middle area, we saw a bit of like sideways action. Right now, it looks very much like we're seeing the same in the altcoin market. Look at what happened following this from Bitcoin. And how else do you keep an eye on what the sentiment in the crypto markets are? Well, you can go and look at how many new people are entering the space, how many retail investors are coming in. We are very far away from anywhere near being a top of the bull market. When you look at the interest from retail, how do I see what the interest from retail looks like? Go to Trends, Google Trends. So go to Google and search for trends. How to buy crypto. A very common search phrase that I've asked in the past and probably you have as well. Look over the last five years. Look at what happened in various different bull markets. You can see this is where we're at right now in terms of how many people were searching for that. At the top of the last bull market, you can see that it was way up here. We, in my opinion, are somewhere around this little blip here uh, around the 3rd of 9th of January 2021. What does that look like on a chart? 3rd of the 9th of January 2021 is this area here. Suddenly you get kind of that big spike in the Bitcoin price. Bitcoin at that period of time then pulls back. Guess what? 27%. Bitcoin right now has come up to a high and has at one point been down here, down 17%. Down 23% would be somewhere around 56k, would be somewhere around here. So in my opinion, the Bitcoin searching and search volume means that we could at worst see one or two weeks of sideways action. But that's for Bitcoin. Let's think about what happens in the altcoin market. Because at the top, you've got Ethereum on the 4th of January that also had a little bit of downside, okay? Ethereum pumped all the way up here and came back down in a single week, nearly 40%. It went all the way up to $1,364. It came down 30%, just a bit more than 30%, down to 934 Following that week, Ethereum 
while Bitcoin kind of goes sideways a bit and doesn't do much, then goes up 126%. A few weeks later, it's up 371% before its first peak here. What am I showing you this for? While everyone's out there panicking, being like, oh, it's going to go much lower. They're trying to sell off their crypto. Ethereum did this in one single week and then it boomed towards the upside, did a four or five X. And if you zoom out and look at the total crypto market cap minus Bitcoin, you can see that this is providing us with a very interesting opportunity somewhere around this zone from the last bull market. The next move from here probably would take the altcoin market to all time highs and beyond. Therefore, this is still, despite the feeling and the sentiment in the market, the best, biggest, most exciting opportunity potentially that we've ever seen that we could see right now potentially for the next few years. So what am I going to do about it? Well, you've probably been in crypto for at least a short while. You've got an idea of some different coins and things that you're interested in buying. Maybe you really like Solana. You hold a bunch of Solana. Maybe you like Render, ICP, Casper. You know the stories behind them all. You love all these coins. These coins are the same coins now, but cheaper. They're the same iPhone, but cheaper. Now you've got the chance to buy those coins again. So which coins should you be buying? Well, you already know. Well, to be honest, most of you already know. You know my feeling on this in terms of narratives, the hottest narratives to pay attention to are deep in decentralized physical infrastructure networks, particularly the compute network side of things. What would fit into there? AIOZs, a cash. So let's pull up a chart on AIOZ. And yes, if you were subscribed, then you would have been getting in with us down at 0.15, so make sure you're subscribed. If you're not, you're missing out big time. But what I can see on this chart is everyone being like, oh, AIOZ doesn't look great. People were buying it and happy to buy it at a dollar. It's now at a massive discount. It's had, what, a pullback, now 41%. Now, what do I see? What we're looking for is entries so that we can make entries, whether we're sleeping, whether we're panicking, whether we're happy, whether we're scared. This is what we need to do. And on the flip side of things, I'll show you in the future how to do this for taking profits because you need to automate it. Why do I automate it? Because I know that I'm stupid and I make stupid decisions. But when I'm nice and calm, I can make nice, calm, happy choices. Go to daily. What I'm looking for on AIOZ is an area that you can see previously where we've had big candles. So what do we do? We find big candles. These are big candles. After that, we get more big candles. What I'm looking for is an area at which big candles have come from because big candles equal smart money simply put because this is a billion dollar I believe it's a billion dollar market cap coin going up 30 percent 300 mil in like a day people you need big money to do that what i can do i can get a rectangle look after the pullback you can see it hits a zone and then it goes up again it comes back down it hits the same zone it goes back up again which tells me this is the zone at which people want to buy AIOZ. People with big money are happy to buy AIOZ in this price. I can drag it across. Now, nice and calmly, instead of panicking and crapping myself because the price is falling towards the downside and everyone being like, oh my God, it's going to go to zero. I can now say, oh look, people were buying this before. Easy. I make it green so that I know green is the buy zone. I put red ones at the top. So that I know that this is probably more likely to see a sell-off than a buy. So what do I do? I wait and see what the reaction is in this box. Now, depending on my tolerance for risk, and this is for AI, this is for every coin, guys. Every coin. I will look at another couple in a minute. I want to teach you how to fish. Okay? That's what I do on this channel. Look, as the price falls down, you can see something happen. Look at this big thin bit, this big wick. Okay, so we have the big candle body. Then you have this big wick. That wick indicates where buyers are starting to cut off the sellers. Okay. Every time people are trying to sell them, they're like, I'll take that. That's good value. Okay. And you can see that it doesn't quite work because the sellers are still stepping in. So what we can do is either if we're more appetite for risk is we could buy in now, knowing that this is a good reasonable value and there's a really reasonable chance of a bounce. Or we could wait for another pattern to emerge but if we wait for the pattern to emerge we don't get such good value what might a pattern look like let me show you is one previously when AIOZ was going down you have this kind of dip and you have this pattern where you get one down candle one middle candle notably it's like a usually like a cross like an indecision which you can see here okay the indecision where it's not really going up not really going down 
And then you get the bullish engulfing candle. This candle is bigger than this candle with that in the middle, which I believe is called a morning star candlestick pattern. And a morning star candlestick pattern indicates bullish action. It means that the buyers have finally outweighed the sellers. The sellers are not prepared to keep selling. The buyers have stepped in and prepared to buy. This is a good trigger. But notice, unlike buying in down here where I would already be up, 41%. I now have to buy in after that candlestick pattern and I miss out on that entire piece of move. But after printing a pattern like that, the chances of it continuing lower are decreased. Therefore, your risk to reward ratios means that you take less risk, but you also have less potential for upside. Because if suddenly we wake up tomorrow and a big like candle is placed in here and I have to enter in there, it means that I miss out on the potential for this like 34% move. Okay. But who knows? It could wake up tomorrow. It could be down here. So there's two things we could do. We could either do this like this, or we could identify maybe there's another opportunity for another buy zone which exists down here. Not knowing whether or not AIZ stops here or continues lower, I could then say, well, I'll, I'll put 75% of whatever I was planning on putting in. So for example, if I had 100 bucks, I could put in $75 here, and I could have a $25 lined up down here. What other areas do I think will do well? Well, deep in obviously is driving success because AI is doing well. Not only will deep in compute stuff do well, but deep in storage, Filecoin will also have a very good one. And here's another buy zone. Let me give you a few more buy zone examples. Look, here, Filecoin, look at where the price is. Big buy candles. Here's one, very big buy candle. Uh, these big buy candles up here, no longer paying attention to because we're now down in this price range. So look, here's that big buy candle. Draw a rectangle across the bottom of that buy candle and look at what happens when the price arrives back into it. Filecoin, again, is printing this very big uh, wick towards the downside, showing buying pressure. The sells are getting turned into buys. Filecoin gives us a good opportunity. What other coins have been doing well? Well, you know, guys, go and look at the coins that have been doing really well during the bullish periods of time that are now cooling off heavily, and you can pretty much guarantee that they're all going to have pretty good runs eventually. Solana, here we can see big candles, big candles. Where does it originate? Draw a box across this area from the bottom of that big candle there. Big candle. And I'm not making this up, okay? I'm not making this just try and fit. You can see, this is a big candle. Look at where it originates. Sideways action, big bang, big candle. Basically, what's happening here is the sales are getting worn out. There's not enough sales, and suddenly the buys are too big, and it has a very big knock-on effect. You can see, though, if Solana keeps going down towards the downside, because let's say Bitcoin does have a big sell-off. Where's the next buy zone? Here. Look at it, okay? This is the next buy zone area underneath these big candles. So what I can do is either I can buy a bit now if I so wish. Obviously not financial buyers, do your own research. But what I like to do is to automate it. Put my horizontal line in here. Where is it? $123, 123.83. What I'll then do is go across to a non-KYC or non-know-your customer exchange. One that doesn't require a VPN. Very easy to use, like Bitunix. Bitunix, a new exchange, has its liquidity provided from Binance. Therefore, has incredible volume, but some of the lowest rates going across crypto. And is extremely easy to use. And I like it because of the no KYC, no VPN thing. It's linked down below in the description. And if you use that link, you'll also qualify for bonuses, as well as various bonuses for new airdrops that are happening all the time on the platform. Now, once inside Bitunix, let's say I want to go and look at Solana because I've decided that Solana is a good value coin to be getting into. I write Sol USDT. And while this looks like a very scary page, I don't need to panic. What I'm going to look at is this Sol chart. Let's say that I want to buy here or down here, um, let's say if I'm in this green box, $146 or $147. I'll come back here. I'll make sure that it says limit order. And I just said $147 for Solana. Let's say I want to buy $1,000 of Solana at $147. I then make sure I have $1,000 written here, a limit order, and then I click buy sold. This is then going to create an order, which means that if Solana price gets down to $147, instead of panicking and brooking it like everyone else who's selling into those areas, I can then buy at the very best value. This is all going to happen automatically. So I could go away and do my own thing, like go fishing or go for a walk or, you know, bake a cake or be sleeping. And if that happens, my order will get filled automatically. It takes all my emotion out, keeps my logical brain in the game. And that's how we win. So easy. If I want to then decide that I don't want to do this anymore, 
I can just cancel it. Or if I'm like, wow, I think the Solana price is great right now. I could just go and buy Solana right now at this rate. Although I highly recommend, despite what I just did, because I wasn't really thinking properly, that you should use limit orders. Okay, don't just crack in like market orders, big market orders. Although big market orders are probably fine. They're only fine if you're doing it with big market cap coins like Solana. But also because Bitchinix has good liquidity, you can kind of get away with it. BVM, a coin I've been talking about recently, BRC20, Ordinals, good narratives in my opinion to be looking at. All you do, guys, look at good narratives, okay? Good narratives that have been performing strongly. This is BVM. Uh, BVM, you can see, doesn't have such a clear buy zone. This is an area it was getting bought up into earlier. Um, so you can see that probably from the bottom of that, you have an area or a buy zone area here. Now you can see it's already broken down below this buy zone. Remember, it's a rough guide. It's not like a brick wall. It's not going to stop anything. But what we can see after this big sell-off is you can see bullish candles emerging. Again, you can start to see uh, support being found here. It wouldn't surprise me if we start to see a bounce here, but you never know. It's very, very simple, very straightforward. ICP, and this is beautiful because I haven't seen this since I made a video on it the other day. I literally made a video on ICP talking about the buy zone areas. Look at it. If you had your limit order set in here, the limit buy order like we just talked about on Bitchinix, it would have triggered. You would have been asleep and you might have woken up and you could be up 17% on ICP just by having these buy zones set. Very straightforward, okay? Look at areas where you get price turnaround. Set yourself some like boxes just draw your boxes and then if it happens it happens you get lucky if it doesn't happen you forget about it no problem okay it's not the right time for the coin for you now guys if you don't know which way to turn you're wondering which coins to be getting into right now then make sure you get into my inner circle which is linked down below in the description We've got two or three trading experts who are on a daily basis are posting the best trade setups that they're finding they're walking you through how to find these setups and you can see some of these guys have been making absolutely huge gains on this trading. Not only that, but do you remember this project Aether that everyone was talking about for a while? Well, Aether is going to be launching officially next month. But before it does, we have been given exclusive access to a pre-sale with a huge discount before this product goes live. We have access to $1 million pre-sale, which will be taking place on the 20th of April in the inner circle link down below in the description. You'll be able to participate in the sale and there is no maximum purchase. So if you're paying ridiculous fees for the likes of Cedify and everything, say goodbye to that. You could buy up to 50 grand's worth of Aether, a huge discount if you so wished. We'll be running two separate sales of 500k, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, so that no matter where you live in the world, you'll be able to find a convenient time to be able to access this sale. This is not the only sale we have. We have multiple sales taking place each week. In the past, we brought you Portal, which did a 55x on launch. We also brought you Gaming, which did a 20x on launch. And if you want to gain access to these pre-sales without being capped on how much you can invest, then guys, get into the Inner Circle link down below in the description. You'll also gain access to NFT's gaming section, where you can talk about the hottest NFTs and gaming projects. You can find out more about airdrops and participate in airdrops. You can find out more about wallet tracking. And we are going to be implementing more and more tools via API, such as Nansen and others over the coming weeks. All of this is available for just $20 per month. Link down below in the description. All I want you to know is that when I'm placing these buy zones on this chart, I'm putting them in areas that I think is a good chance to see a turnaround. Unlike everyone else, I'm not going to tell you that this is guaranteed to see a bottom. But you get an opportunity to be buying in at what is considered good value. If you keep money on the side and you do this all the way down, eventually you'll find a buy zone that becomes the bottom. And that is how you win in this game. Strategically buy when the prices are dipping and strategically sell when the prices are going up. Most people do the opposite. That's why most people lose. And that's why you should be subscribed to the House of Crypto. Hit the like button and I will see you tomorrow in another video. Bye-bye.